In this video we're going to look at how we can use the touch screen of the iPad to control our sprite to move around the screen. So we have to do it in a different way than we would do if we had a keyboard. So I've got my sprite here, my cat sprite, and what I'm going to do is add another sprite in here which is going to act as the touch for my cat sprite. So if I start by going to my choose a sprite here, now I can draw a sprite, but I'm actually going to choose a sprite from my library and you can see here that there's an arrow sprite that we can use which is going to work well but you could draw an arrow if you wanted to then i'm going to position my arrow on the screen i'm going to put mine in the bottom right hand corner but you could position where yours where you want then what i'm going to do is add a program to this that when it's touched it sends a command to my cat sprite to move it so obviously i want my cat sprite to move in this direction because that's the direction of the arrow so I'm going to make sure that I'm on my arrow sprite here and then I'm going to go over to my code and I'm going to choose an events and one of my events is when this sprite is clicked I'm going to drag that in now it doesn't just mean clicked it also means that it's touched within the touch screen of the iPad as well so it works for both so when this sprite is clicked, now what I want to do is send a command to the cat sprite. So that's actually broadcast a message. So if I broadcast the message, now we've got message one in here. We'll leave it as message one, but we're going to have to send more messages. And as you can see, you can create new messages in there. So I'll just leave it as message one. Then once I've done that, I need to go over to my cat sprite. And in here, it needs to receive the message. So when I receive, so that again, that's in my events section. When I receive message one, obviously it's going to move. So I need to go to the motion and it's going to move across the X axis because it's going left to right. And so I'm going to go down to change by X. So now when I run it in full screen and I tap on my arrow, each time it moves to the right. Then I could duplicate this arrow sprite. So if I hold down on the iPad and then duplicate. If I go into the costumes of that second arrow sprite, you can see that there is a left arrow. So I can delete the first costume and then position that. I could put it down here next to it or I could put it over this side of the screen. If I go back into the code, this time I need it to broadcast a new message. So if I go to new message and call this message two. And again, I need to go back into my sprite and go into my events. And when I receive message two, so now the cat is receiving two messages. This time it's going to change by the X axis but it's going negative 10. So now I'm using touch by touching the screen to move my cat sprite left and right. So what you could then do is add some up and down arrows by changing the costumes and then try to send a message to the cat sprite to change it by the Y axis. 